Okay, so this is assignment two, task number three. Pendulum, length 1.5 meters, swings through an angle of 10 degrees in a single swing. Find in centimeters the length of the arc traced by the pendulum. So first step would be to draw it, wouldn't it? So there's something like this, and it's swinging through this arc. So it's subtending an angle here, which is 10 degrees. The length is 1.5 metres, and we want to find in centimetres the length of the arc. So I would be tempted to write the length of this thing straight away in centimetres, so I'm in the correct unit. <coughs> Don't have to do that, but it's one way to avoid making a little mistake. How might we approach this? What sort of formula is going to be helpful to us? Yeah. Uh, and your logic for that? So you're, you're converting to radians. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, so one, let approach it. We could talk about the angle in radians. And then use the formula that I think Ty Tyler is talking about here, which is that the arc length R equals, or the arc length S rather. Yeah, that's right, R. Yes, it is. I don't know why. Saying that. S equals R theta. What does S represent then, Tyler? Yeah. R? <coughs> no, no, R. Radius, Alex, yeah. And theta, the angle in radians. So that's why you need to convert the angle to radians. That's one way to do it. Any other approaches? Any other formula that might come in useful? Of course, remember that this is part of a complete circle, isn't it? So if these things go around. Formally for this for a circle, it might be useful. Right, What? yeah, what's the formula for the circumference? But you're dead right, Mark. Anybody remind me what the formula for the circumference of a circle is? <laughs> circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter, or 2 pi r. Okay? There are some formula that it will be really worth knowing, and that's one of them. You're going out into the world of engineering, you're stepping in, supposedly, with some knowledge. Okay? Smiles around the room. And if somebody, somebody who doesn't know what they're doing is going to come up to you and say, oh, God, what's the formula for it? And you're going to say, don't you know that? It's pi b. Or you're going to look in complete idiot and go, I don't know, I'll have to look it up. Know some of these formulas. So you're right, Mark. If you find the complete circumference of the circle, what could you do? It would, wouldn't it? Yeah. You can sort of divide that up into its parts because that complete circle would be 360 degrees and then find out, right, so there's more than one way to do these problems, please, okay? What I'm looking for is for your approach to this thing. And what I have got to be careful of and keep my mind on is that, of course, it's your work. So I know you're going to help each other, but for heaven's sake, don't just copy it off somebody, because I might well say, just w talk me through this, how did you do that? And if you don't know, that means you've copied it, doesn't it? Okay, so, although I'm going to give you as much help as I possibly can with these things, integrity comes into it too.
So make sure you understand what you've done. Any other questions on task three?